Ooh, man, it's a hot afternoon. I'm out doing a little bit of exploring and uh, I got my kayak, so I don't want to be out here right now. It's like 1230, middle of the day, blazing hot. And um, check this out, I got my little Creek Life shirt. Now this is made by Arms Family Homestead. I really like the design and everything, but I got my Creek Life shirt on. I gotta go find a little creek to fish. And actually they're right where, where this um, this water gets lake here, it gets shallow. There's a little creek channel over there. I just stopped and looked in and saw several uh, little bass and um, some sunfish. I think I saw some big sunfish in there. I think I'm just gonna walk up there to the bridge and put in, just grab a couple lures and we'll just stop and fish for a little bit. I looked, I went, I was gonna go up it. That was the plan. And um, I went, I drove up a little bit and there's no water in the bed. But this right here is just right off the lake part. So it's just kind of backed up into here. It's also shady. It's probably gonna be a little bit cooler. And it's probably a great place for the fish to be hiding and getting away from the bigger fish. Also a nice place to come in the middle of the day. So let's see what we get. I got just a little light rod and just a few lures in my pockets. If we were to come across some bigger bass or something like that, I may go back in my other rod, but right now I'm just gonna see if I can catch anything. Oh, oh, there's some fish right here. Little bass, little sunfish. There's one, a tiny one. And what is it? A little red breast to start out with. I saw, I thought I saw a couple good sized ones in there. Let's see if we can find those. And I just got a little, uh, tiny little jig head, a little Bobby Gun Slab Hunter. I got a couple other ones I might go to. If I see some bigger bass, I got a couple like little, a little bit bigger lures that might get them to bite. There's one. Who's that? Green sunfish. Okay, I seen some little bigger ones here. I gotta get them to bite. Oh, little green. Oh, there we go. I saw that one ate it. It was right in front of me. That's funny. And what is this? Looks like a bluegill, but it also looked like maybe it was a pumpkin seed maybe just a speckled up bluegill i watched that one he did right in front of me oh there's some beans right there yeah there's a little more aggressive over here i saw something like come swarming at it and another red breast uh we're gonna get into some a little bit bigger ones i feel like like as far as like uh sunfish and maybe some just like decent little bass. Yeah. Oh no, he didn't. I thought I had him. That was a good sunfish. He swiped it. There are three or four of them right here in front of me. These are the ones I saw off the bridge. They moved down a little bit. Let's see if I can get one to hit it and to take it all the way. Goodness, that guy hammered it. Nice. Okay. He inhaled it. And there was three or four of them looked like they were going to do the same thing. Eat it. Oh, <laughs> a little bitty bass grabbed it. They're all right there. Like they all want to bite it. I just don't know. There's like 10 little fish right there in front of me. I need somebody to take it all the way. Nah, they're just biting at it. I need a bigger one to just consume it. That one got it. Red wrist. Hold on, I'll get you off. It's pretty cool just watching these little fish go after this little thing. I keep waiting to see some like a little bit bigger bass show up. Oh, there's a big red breast in there. Oh, except, goodness, that one hammered it. That was before I could get to the big one. There's a bigger one. This guy came up and just smoked it. Ah. 
we'll stick another little slab hunter on and then um once it wears out i might upsize my hook and go with a little bit bigger lure come on bass every time a bass comes over a sunfish decides to eat it <laughs> they have to either nobody bites it or they all want to eat it it's a skinny little guy a little bluegill Eat it, eat it, eat it. Oh, come on. <clears throat> there he is, that's the one. Pull a little drag there. <laughs> oh, that's a nice red breast. Oh, that's a, is that a bluegill? Wow, check this thing out. Tell me if this ain't a hybrid or something. Hold on. Now it's gotta be, uh, it's gotta be some kind of hybrid. His mouth is too big. I don't know what that thing is. It's like a red breast. I guess it's a red breast. Maybe it's red breast bluegill hybrid. I'm not exactly sure what that is, but that's a nice fish. All right, we're uh, we just came just a little ways, and this creek just kind of opens up. It's just a creek bed right here. Not really much flowing water. It's shallow, a little bit rocky, but we got shade. I think there might be some bigger fish that I'm not seeing, and uh, hopefully some little bass. Maybe some of those bigger sunfish. So I'm just gonna upsize to a little bit of like a pile diver on a 130 second sound jig head and just explore as far as I can. I don't wanna get like waist deep cause I'm actually traveling to my brother's and we're gonna fish tomorrow. So I had time to stop and do a little scouting on the way and I may have time to stop at one more place. I don't know, but let's try this. See what, see if anything shows up trying this out. Oh my goodness. They bit it and spit it out before I can... They, I think they definitely are on beds. And they're big enough to get this thing in their mouth. Come on. Yeah, go. There we go. What are these fish? Or am I just having a... Uh, I don't know. Some kind of moment where I don't know what I'm doing anymore. They uh, have bigger mouths. Are they just red breast? I don't, I don't know why I can't tell. Why am I having a str struggle with it? I guess they're, they gotta be like some kind of, oh, there's a little bass. Dude, there's, there's all kinds of fish hanging around right here. They're like, let's see what else I can get. Here we go. That dude thumped it. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's a, now that's a red breast. Just these are pale looking ones. He hammered it. Oh, it's a bass right there. There's a couple bass. Got it. Finally got one of the bass. Oh wow. He was, he was cruising right in front of me. There's two of them. I think there was three of them. And then this was like the last one. Wow, he's digging hard with this little setup. <laughs> this setup is nice. I like this rod, I've been trying it for panfish. But as soon as you get into something bigger, it just bends over quick. So if that's good or bad, it really um, just, you know, once you start getting into He's uh, that's a maybe 12 inch, 11, 12 inch bass, and it just bends all the way over. So it's great for the pan fishing, though. Okay, well he's healthy looking. It's crazy. I'm standing in this water. It's kind of it's warm because it's lake water. I'm not used to this. Every time usually I'm standing in the creeks, they're cold, but I'm in here. It's warm lake water. These fish are just up in here cruising. Just roaming around. Maybe I should have come in here with my kayak. I think if I'd have come in here with my kayak, I'd have seen a lot of stuff. It's always fun just to kind of walk through the water, walk up on some fish.
Oh. Oh my goodness, I had a huge bass on. He ate it again. Broke my line, broke my line. That's a giant bass right there. Like a two pound, well, giant. When I say giant, it's a, like a two or three pound bass. I set the hook so hard, I broke my line. I was, <laughs> he hit my lure. It came out of his mouth. He followed it up, hit it again. Oh, this is crazy. I knew there had to be some bigger bass in that little cove over there. Hey, and that's what four pound line does. It does break pretty easy. So let's, uh, what if he'll hit again? I, I'd love to get him and have that lure in its mouth. That'd be crazy. This is a nice bigger lure. Oh, 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 something bit it. There's fish over there. All right, I think there's only one thing left to do. Go back to the truck, get a bass rod, and come fish this area just real quick. Oh, no, nope. I'm getting some little bites. If there was that one bass right there, there's gotta be probably a few in there. And I'm almost thinking, bringing a top water across it all righty okay let me get uh, clouds coming over got some wind blowing up in here There he is, there it is, there it is. That's a good fish. That's a good fish. That's that one. <laughs> that was cool. That was so cool. Oh man. Let's see if my lure, let's see if that's the one. Let's see if my lure's in his mouth. Maybe spit it out. Dude, I, uh, if it looks unusual for me to be throwing a bait caster set up, then it is unusual because I've been trying to do it a little bit more and this is a great example of like, you know what, I'm gonna bring that out. Holy cow, that's a solid fish. That looks like the size of the one that I had. Don't see the lure, you must have spit the lure out. I probably never even got a good hook set. But man, that's a two, probably a two pounder right there. I bet he's at least 16 inches, pretty fat. Close to two pounds. Oh, he's got a whisker sticking out of his, mouth he had to crawl or something pound and three quarter two pounder right there nice that was cool thank you for hanging out <laughs> i've used these little top toads a few times and i like because they're i don't know you can you can use them as a few different ways maybe i'll throw my frog up you can put the frog back on there and um, it's got these hooks that come off as so if they make a like a wobbling noise and they're a frog so all right pretty neat pretty neat that was worth the stop and worth getting out this rod it may be the only one in there but that's cool to get him Just took my GoPro off, looked at the timer. I've been recording for an hour and three minutes. That's why I love just to be able to, you know, stop in and try places and look for little shallow areas, look around before you fish there. I was looked around and off the bridge here and I saw a fish, I knew there had to be more fish. Caught a bunch of little fish and then that nice little bass at the end, that was really fun. Now that was off a newer rod that I bought here. It's a Dobbins um, Fury series. And this is a, it's a 7.3 mag heavy fast action. It's actually made for frogs. I got a lose reel and 40 pound braid. Now the first rod that I was using was a you know, Bass Pro. It's a Panfish Elite 6.2 light. And I got actually got a Johnny Morris Signature Series uh, reel. I think the reel's around hundred bucks. This rod's around 70 something. I got five pound braid and a four pound uh, fluorocarbon leader. And it's great. It's, it was throwing those little lures. Like if you want to throw trout magnets and stuff, this is great for it. If you get into anything bigger, it's a little, little tough, but it's 
it's perfect for them panfish. Panfish, I love the size at six two. So um, I'm always looking for rods that are for the, fit the right situations. And there's there, there's just not one rod that does everything you want it to do. Um, even though I keep trying to find that rod. So I got some rods that are kind of in betweeners, and I'm always looking for those ones that'll catch bass and panfish. And uh, this stuff, this will catch them, but. You can saw when I set the hook on a big one, and the first the first time I, it, it came with hook, the second one it broke right off. But um, it's cool to follow up with that, and I was just, I was glad I missed it. That way I followed up with that frog rod and got on the frog. So hey, hour of fishing, great time. Thanks for watching. I gotta head down the road.